what's up you guys it's me Sana and I'm back with another beauty video today I'm just quickly gonna get into it we're gonna talk about my skincare routine <laughs> I feel like I finally have a routine that kind of works for me that doesn't get me any weird breakouts like a few months ago I used to have terrible breakouts around my period and such but I haven't had that either in a little bit so I feel like I'm at a nice place with my skin where it always feels moisturized and nice and soft and no weird breakouts. So that's kind of what I want. I still have some texture and some annoyances that I want to work on sometime uh, that I haven't found a solution for yet. But for now, I'm happy with how my skin is looking. So yeah, I thought it would be a good moment to talk about my skincare routine and tell you about what I do, which products I use, in what order, that kind of thing. I'm not a skincare expert, trust me on this. <laughs> I like reading about skincare and the beneficial ingredients and those sorts of things and trying out new products. But I am definitely not that knowledgeable on skincare. So just take this as like it works for my skin. Maybe it works for you as well, but I'm not guaranteeing anything. I also think most of my skincare at this moment is vegan, so that's good. And everything else is cruelty free, at least. I have combination skin, very oily and texturized around my T-zone and very dry over here. Also, my skin just tends to be very dry. So yeah, I like a lot of moisturizing ingredients and a lot of exfoliating ingredients. And in a healthy, healthy balance is what I'm going for. But yeah, that's why I'm not wearing anything on my skin. No makeup, anything at all today, right now. Because I thought it would be a good idea to start with my morning routine. It's morning now. So why not start with my morning routine, I guess. <laughs> So every morning I just wash my face with a little bit of water just to get some residue of, of last night's products off. After I wash my face, I like to start with some sort of serum or essence or anything like that. Right now I'm using this Burrito Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. Um, it's because I got it as a sample and I wanted to try it out. It's quite a big, decent sample as well, so I'm getting quite a few uses out of this. But yeah, I just like to apply a tiny bit of that. To my face i don't really know what this is supposed to do but it makes my skin feel and smell nice so we'll just take that you know it smells very leafy like plants <laughs> feel like it just adds a little bit of moisture to my skin which is nice then usually i just try to sense if my skin is needing a lot of moisture today it is because i just showered and that tends to dry out my skin a lot so then i like to apply a uh, face cream and I kind of switch out my face creams in the morning a tiny bit um, I have this one this is usually like my nighttime skin cream but I use it in the morning sometimes as well I also have some other creams that I kind of switch out just depending on what I'm feeling that day the amount of care that my skin needs in my opinion and this is just generally my favorite cream it's very very lightweight but it adds a lot of moisture to my skin and this is the Hema Aqua 24 Hour Cream Gel. This is like my third jar of this stuff already. I really, really like this cream. It smells very nice. They also have a sensitive skin version. And then after my facial cream, I apply an SPF, of course. Right now I'm using the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50. I really, really, really like this one. It's not really that expensive but like it is a lot of money for the fact that you have to use a lot every day so i want to repurchase this just for the summer and then during the winter and such go with my cheaper options um which i do like but i just prefer this one i got two fingers full for my face and neck area i just really like how quickly this pulls into my skin and just leaves no white cast at all it's just really impressive to me and it's very important to try and wear SPF every day if you have the money and the time for it. I do at this moment in time, so I'm doing it. <laughs> but yeah, I re I've really, really been loving this one. I think I'm gonna buy one or two more of that. <laughs> but yeah, then I apply a little bit of eye cream. I don't really know if this does anything. Um, I just like how it feels and it leaves just my under eyes very moist, which I like when I'm gonna be applying makeup to it. Like my 
concealer just seems to be sticking a lot better to my skin after I applied this. So yeah, that's most of my skincare done. I just like to end on a little bit of a lip balm because my lips are always extremely dry. <laughs> right this time I'm using the Pure Roll B lip balm. Uh, I bought this like ages ago. I don't think I should be using this anymore, but you know. That's also the reason why it has B-Sex in it. Like, I now like to focus on buying vegan skincare whenever I can. So, um, my lips are so dry this morning. Also a thing that I really have learned lately, I've been trying to drink a lot more water lately and that helps so much with my dry lips. Like, you can tell that I didn't really drink any water yesterday and then my skin, like my lips look like that. And Recently, I've just been trying to drink a lot more water and now I drink like two, like near, nearing two liters of water a day and my lips are just so much better. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So um, yeah, I found that out. Great tip. I don't really know if it did much for my skin in general, but I just see a big difference in my lips. That is the morning skincare. Now my skin is ready to put some makeup over on top of it. I'm just gonna do the rest of my day and I'll see you later today when I'm taking off my makeup and doing my evening skincare. Good evening, I'm back to do my evening skincare. As you can see, I'm wearing a full face of makeup. So we gotta get rid of that first. And then I'm gonna show you what other skincare products I use in the evening. Let's just start getting rid of this makeup. Okay, so after I've taken off my lashes and I've put my hair backwards, I'm first gonna take off my makeup using a makeup remover balm, which is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. I really like this one. I think I've used up like half of the jar right now. I'll just rub a tiny bit of it all over my face. It'll melt the makeup away and then I can just wash it off with some water. And then any leftover makeup that's around my eyes or whatever, I'll get rid of using a reusable makeup wipe. You can just make these wet with a little bit of water um, and then they'll easily get rid of any extra makeup that you have left on your face. So that's what I do for like the little annoying bits in the corner of my eye that I can't get rid of with just the cleansing balm. So I'll do that first and then after taking off my entire makeup I'll double cleanse using the Hema Hydrating Face Wash. I don't have it here with me so here's a picture of it. I just put a little bit of on my hand, make it a bit wet and just rub it all over my face to make sure my skin is extremely clean and nothing is left in the pores. And that is kind of my cleaning process. Uh, which I'm gonna do right now, but but I will at least show you the cleansing balm in action because I think that's fun. Scoop a bit with the little spoon and then I rub it a tiny bit between my fingers and then just go all over my face. This is just so funny to me because you got the color everywhere and it looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so this is what my face looks like right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the bathroom, wash this off with some water and then cleanse the rest of my face with my regular cleanser and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm sorry if you can see a lot of reflecting in my glasses. I had to already take out my contacts because I just don't really want to get skincare in my eyes, you know, when it's on my fingers and then I need to take out my contacts. And the first step after this is usually a bit, like it varies a bit. So then the next step after that would be either exfoliant or just a serum. On evenings that I do use an exfoliator, which is two to three evenings in the week. I, I have two different overnight exfoliators that I like to use, just depending on what my breakouts are like at that moment and what my skin needs, because I have one exfoliator that's a bit more aggressive, in my opinion, and one that's a bit less aggressive. So uh, the more aggressive one is the Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment. This one has both AHA and BHA, and I feel like AHA is a lot more drying and aggressive to my skin. So when I do use this, it's more on evenings that my skin is really not that good and it needs that extra boost. Like especially over here, I have a lot of my keratosis pilaris over here. So I like to use it on these bits, but I try not to use this one too much because it seems to dry up my skin a lot. And then the exfoliator that I've been using a lot lately is the 
Burrito BHA Dead Skin Moisture Gel. Just this one. I just like it. It's just a lot more soft and it also just feels like it's already moisturizing my skin. So, but I do feel like uh, it really helps with cleaning my skin. So this one. However, I've already used my exfoliators last night, so I won't be using them today. So if I don't use exfoliators, I go in with a serum. I don't like to use this serum when I do use exfoliators because I don't want to mix active ingredients. So this is a vitamin C booster serum. I don't think it makes like a drastic difference for my skin, but I just like the way my skin feels when I put this on. So I usually just do like one big drop like that and then just slowly work that into my skin. And then I like to go in with a moisturizer. I think I use this one in the morning as well. This is just my favorite cream and I just especially like it in the evenings because when I wake up my skin still feels very moisturized, not too greasy. And my nighttime skincare routine really isn't that long or excessive. It doesn't have that many steps because we've already gotten to the last step, which is a spot treatment. But I like to go in with this spot gel by Hema as well. And I just apply a tiny bit on small spots. It has salicylic acid in it. So it helps dry out the spot. I said I've already gone into my last step in my routine, but it is not exactly the truth. I forgot one step, but I also like to use an overnight lip treatment. It just feels like a lip balm that just stays all night instead of just a few hours. Just a bit more hydrating than a normal lip balm. This one is by Caramel. It's the Berry Lip Night Mask. I just rub that over my lips and then I let it be for the night. <laughs> so now, my entire skincare routine for the evening is done. I just need to wait till the spot gel has dried down before I go to bed. My skin feels very, very nice and soft and moisturized. I feel very nice and very calm. Very, very, very ready to go to sleep. I'll also just put my glasses back on so I can see again. Like I said, my skincare routine isn't that excessive. I have quite a few different products that I like to use, but I don't really have a 30 step skincare regime anymore. This just works for my skin. There aren't too many steps, which also makes it a lot easier to keep up with the skincare routine. If I don't want to be excessive, I usually don't put on the lip treatment or do the spot gel, but then it's kind of just wash my face, put on the serum and the moisturizer, and then I'm done. It's just a nice, simple, comfy routine for the evening. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use, feel free to ask. If I have a review up about any of the products, I'll link it down below so you can check that out. That's gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If you want to see even more from me, my blog and all my socials are linked down below so you can check that out as well. As well as my gaming channel if you're into gaming. And that's it for today. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!